Hi everyone, it's Jen. Um, thank you for clicking on the video. I, I'm going to be putting away my brushes that I just washed yesterday, which are all of these here on the towels. And I'm going to be putting my face brushes in this drawer. Uh, I have my sponges and my face brushes in this drawer. Actually, this can come out. I can put that away. This is just a tub that my sponge goes in from Saint Beauty or Saint Saint, I guess it's just called. Um, and so I wanted to kind of put away my face brushes and kind of go through what I've used and what I have and what I like. I don't think I'm going to be decluttering anything today. It's kind of not what this is all about, but I just want to go through what I have um, just in case there is anything down the road that comes up that I may want to order. I think I'm pretty good for brushes. I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, my brush collection, but I have an insane amount of brushes, not even just like stuff that is in my everyday drawer, but I have another entire drawer that has stacked full of face brushes, mostly face brushes from my subscription to Morphe, which I ended, which unfortunately I really, really wanted to keep going with it, but um, I just, I started getting enough brushes and now what I can do is just order the individual ones that I really need. And I think the ones that I would probably go for are like the 217s from MAC. I think that's something that I would probably order more of and then yeah just whatever else I need to replace or whatever. So for now I'm going to put all these brushes away and I'll show you guys what I use to clean my brushes. I use this little mat from Sigma. It's got, um, I'm sorry about the foundation-y type residue or whatever on it but I clean it as best as I humanly can until um, it just starts to like look a little rough and then I um, try and scrub it with like a toothbrush or whatever to get all that off but right now it's okay uh, I'll just use it one more time like this this side is really really clean it's just the underside that sticks to the sink that's a little bit grungy um, so it has a bunch of different um, sort of weavings or patterns. So these are more for like smaller brushes, like this is for rinsing closer to where the tap would run. This is more for like cleaning. There's like, it says wash eyes, um, refine. This I find more works really good for eye brushes a lot, especially little tiny ones. This is good too, but I really like this area. And then this is the thicker part for face brushes and stuff. And then you just like rinse them over here but I really love this it's the smaller one and I highly recommend this I used to use the mitt which I still really like and I what I like about that is that you can wring it through the thumb and finger area and rinse off your brushes without drying out your hands especially in winter and then I use baby shampoo so just like the regular yellow version of baby shampoo but you can of course use whatever you want um there's a lot of brush cleaners for spot cleaning I use uh Houdini or I think it's still called Houdini from Saint and I also use the MAC brush cleaner so I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting this away without talking too much um this is a really really good blush brush this is from Morphe it's the E34 I really love this a lot um, I use this for my bronzer. It's so huge and honestly, I think it's just a little bit too big, but I use this one from Morphe, which is the MB1, and I also use this from Sigma, which is a large, large powder brush, F20. I like this one better for bronzer because it does have a narrowing effect, which means I can get on my forehead without it like getting in my eyebrows or whatever. So um, I really like that one. This one I think would be better for like neck and um, decollete and body and stuff if you're doing bronzer and things. So I still hang on to that for stuff, but it's not super necessary for me to have that. And then I do have a whole row of little Kabuki minis down here, which I need to start using. I've never actually used these at all. Um, and then I have a couple of smaller brushes, these duo fiber ones that are like synthetic hairs. I use these for my cream, like if I'm putting on a face primer or I need to blend out a concealer, but mostly I use these for my primer. And then this one I use for putting powder on my under eyes. I really like this one. The gunmetal line is really, really nice from Morphe. I love it. I don't know if they still have it, but I really enjoy it. This one too is from the Gun Metal line. It's the um, foundation powder brush and I really like this a lot. This is one of my favorite contour brushes. It's from Sedona Lace. It's the 602. I highly recommend Sedona Lace brushes. I didn't have the greatest experience ordering from them this year, but it was just, I kind of looked past it. At first I was like really upset and I did make a video about it if you want to go and see it, but um, just 
thinking solely about the fact that there is a pandemic going on. I mean, they didn't ship my order, which was the whole situation. They did not ship my order, but um, they they forgot to, I guess, send it. They made the label and then they forgot to ship it out. So it was really their issue, but they blamed it on the fact that there is a pandemic, which that was kind of a lame excuse. They could have just said, hey, you know what? I'm so sorry. I totally forgot to send it. We'll send it now. Then I wouldn't have been so, like, I wouldn't have been bothered by it. I wasn't looking for any freebies or anything, but... Back to the brush. I highly recommend this. I actually want to take some isopropyl alcohol and um, a tissue of some kind. If you can see my head showing. Sorry about that. Um, I just want to wipe some of these handles off because some of them get a little bit fingerprinty, especially at the ferrule. And I just want to make sure that everything is like nice and clean for when I go to use it again. But I do highly recommend that. I have this um, contour blush brush from Mirabella. This is a really awful feeling. Like it's okay. I shouldn't say awful feeling, but it's starting to shed a little bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of that one actually. I do like my Morphe ones for blush better. And then I have this one from Morphe, which is the little like domed one. I have like a crap ton of these. Oh my God. Um, this one's really nice for powder underneath the face or powder, like loose powder all over your face. This is really good for that. So highly recommend that. Um, I use these for powder under my eyes as well. Really enjoy those. They're just really small brushes. I'm going to do eyes after. And then of course, these for me are key. I use these to blend my concealer out underneath my eyes. I really like the fact that they are uh, ladle shaped with a little tiny point to the top. I like those. And then this one is the Morphe Y7. Again, just a foundation brush, really cute. Um, this one I used for highlight, which is odd, oddly enough, I think this one was meant for loose powder, but what I like is that it's dense, but you can blend. So that's why I use this for my highlighter. And then I use this one for contouring my nose, which I absolutely love this one. And then I have a couple of um, foundation brushes that I use from Sedona Lace. These are amazing. I love these for laying down powder on my face. They are so soft. I'm actually going to put these in something else later. So I'm going to set those aside. And again, another um, pointed one. This one's really nice and pointed from Morphe. Highly recommend this one. It's the M706. And then I have a ton of eye brushes. Just going to lay those down here. Um, again, another one of these. Uh, these are different, actually. So these ones are more flat for the um, dry foundation or powder foundation. And I use these ones um, for my liquid foundation. And these are from Sedona Lace as well. They're the 480. Highly, highly recommend. I buy these in the bundles. Like, they're so good. And then, is this the same one? The three... Yeah, so this is the first one that I bought. I bought this because Patrick Starr recommended this one. I want to wipe these ones off too because they're just a little fingerprinty. And I really, really like these for um, putting liquid foundation all over my face. These are awesome. I've used this one so much. It's really densely packed. This is the new one. It looks a little different, but I think it's because it just hasn't been used yet and it's still firm. This one's really wide. This one doesn't feel as dense as the other one, so I'm kind of not impressed with that. It looks like they've really changed it. I'm just, I'm not that impressed this one i bought from sephora i don't know if they make it different for sephora but not really impressed with the fact that it doesn't feel as dense as the original so just be careful when you're ordering that you're getting what you want and not just like they've really lessened the amount of hairs again sedona lace um, this one is just the regular hair brushes or like the ginger hair brushes not the color ones and then i have another um what do you call these paddle brushes for foundation uh, this is another one that I use for face powder or bronzer. Sometimes I use it for blush depending. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's from Arbonne. This is just depending on the feel. But this was something I bought like when I was really young, like in my teens. I still have it. Like I barely used it, but I'm using it now. And then this one is my Sedona Lace FBO5. Highly, highly, highly recommend this for contour. I love this so much. 
Um, this one is the Sigma Tapered Highlighter. Really like this for actually applying um, highlight or illuminator, not illuminator, um, highlight or brightening underneath the eyes with powder. Love this so much. It's like a tiny little egg shape. Um, and then this one came with my Lorac Pro Contour Kit. Um, this another just paddle brush from Sedona Lace, which I want to wipe off. Some of them get like a um, little bit of foundation-y like fingerprints on them. And if I see that, I really like to wipe those off. And then these ones again are just for like primer, face primer, because they have the synthetic duo fiber brush. Um, this one I use for powder all over the face. It's really starting to flare out though, but it's so densely packed. You can see the bristles just falling out. But I'm going to keep this one just because I really do like it and it's very soft. This is the FBO3, but this isn't one that I would highly recommend, but I do enjoy using it. I just I have so many of those that sometimes I wonder why I kept so many. <laughs> um, and then this one is the Morphe M5 sevens or sorry m457 um this one is a synthetic dual fiber brush it's really really like thick like really big really thick and wide this i will use for my um face primer but i think i need to rinse this one off it really stinks like um shampoo and i don't think i rinsed that one off enough so i will rinse that one off and then i have these synthetic dual fibers again primer and this one I use underneath my eyes. This one I think I need to rinse again as well. For some reason, those two, I must have washed those first and just never really rinsed them off enough. So I'll rewash those or rinse those two. But those are the face brushes. Um, you can see I have quite a few. And this is not even close to my entire amount of brushes. I did want to show you guys though what I do. So I take a, uh, oh, I have these. I just washed my spoolies so I can reuse them again because I hate wasting. But I take a microfiber um, sort of cloth type thing and I just roll in a uh, one of those little like paper towel roll things and then I just roll it and then I lay it down and then I just lay the brushes on it like this so that the brushes have no water in the ferrule it just runs out so I lay them on their side but I make sure to turn them often so that they don't like end up all you know like this one kind of has a little bit of a slant to it but so they don't end up like this kind of a thing you don't want them all like slanted so um that's what I do with that one so I'm going to move this I'll reuse that again and then for eye brushes I'm going to grab my drawer out this one is a little sleeker but only because um, only because the brushes are smaller. <laughs> so you can see there, the brushes are really tiny. I have, um, these things are from the dollar store and they fit perfect. This is from Ikea, this drawer set, and it fits right underneath my desk and it literally fits these exactly. Like you can see there, they fit exactly in here. I love this. So I'm just going to run over through these quickly. This is a cream brush. Um, this is just a small pencil brush. Anything for detail, I kind of put in the far side. Um, anything that's like for eyebrows or liners, I put all of these type of things in the front because I grab those the most. I don't reuse my eyeliner brushes. I always wash them after one use. And then anything that's like eyeshadows, I leave in the very front because, again, this is something that I use often. This is a highlighter brush, actually, so this should go in another drawer. Pencil brushes, detail brushes, those will go there. And then anything, again, like eyeshadow or paddle or small, like, short detail for shadow, short shader brushes, those all go in the front. Again, these two I use for highlighter on my face, so I'm going to put those in another drawer. I should show you them here. These are from Morphe, and they are the M501 and M510. Love these. Anything I use for um, blending brushes, these all go in the middle because I use, again, I use these a lot, but um, I always have a couple in my like, thing back here, so I always have a couple that are ready to use. And then that's pretty much it. None of these really had gunk or anything on the ferrules or on the 
the handles and I always like tidy those off already when I'm cleaning them it's just like lust when they dry down and you see any like little gunky stuff like that's when I'll just clean those up a little bit with alcohol just to make it like really nice so that's pretty much all I do and then this is my isopropyl alcohol in a little spray bottle and then I just keep napkins on hand you can see some of that is the um, handle paint like the paint that comes off of the handles and then some of it is like foundation and whatever left over and that's pretty much it I just wanted to share how I do my stuff with you guys um, if you have any questions let me know if you do have any brushes that you think I should check out let me know most of my stuff is Morphe um, I have a few things from Mac a few things from Sephora and then like random stuff lots from Sedona Lace um lots or some from sigma but let me know if you guys have any brushes that you think i should check out because um i really kind of want some more shaders like like this kind of eye shader brush i want a few more of those and a few more um like crease blending brushes i'm in need of some crease blendings i have a lot of the more puffy ones for the upper part of the eye like ones that are like this i have a lot of these but i don't have a lot that are like for the crease so let me know if you guys have anything that you think I should try and uh, put that in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.